In today's video, I want to talk about camera degradation on these Ford trucks. So here's a look at how the picture looks. If I turn on the camera, then you can see that, let me get the camera in here a little better so we can focus. You can see that yes, the picture is in fact getting cloudy. Now for our purposes, we can still use the truck, we can still use the camera. and. We use this 360 camera all the time. I mean, it lets us get up close to other vehicles when we have our trailer behind us. I mean, you can get the nose of the truck right up there. Now, is it foggy? Most certainly is. The sun's kind of hitting on it right now, but it's definitely degraded. Uh, let's go ahead and see if reverse will work with the truck not even running. Yes, sir, it will. Uh, you can see the reverse um, looks a little bit cloudy, but still, I mean not too bad it's probably one of the better cameras out of all of them all, out of all of the cameras because it does come off of the truck on in the winter which probably takes it out of the elements quite a bit now here you can see the 360 my reflection in there let me move over so you don't see my reflection ruining the picture but there you can see the 360 camera how it looks still works and it's still i mean it's on its way though. Um, it's definitely on its way. Let's take a look here at the trailer camera. Now this camera I put on the truck this year and it kind of looked like this when I got it. It gives you a, a view of the rear of the trailer. It kind of looked exactly like this. It's only been on the truck for like eight months or so and it looks okay. But, I mean, it never, the cameras re never really had that great of re resolution anyway. But you can definitely see that this camera that is on the back of the trailer is in better condition than the one that's been on the truck the whole time, the front facing. It's starting to wash out for sure. So here's a look at the 20F450. This truck is uh, two years newer than that one. So it has two less years on the road at the same time. I've had this truck for two years, so um, that's four years on the 250 and two years on the 450. The cameras on this, I would say, I mean, let's look at them. They look better for sure, but I do think they've degraded a little, not much though. Let's see some of the others, if we can get the rear here, have an expansion button. You have the bed of the truck. Yeah, I think. I think it they're not blown out or anything but I do think there's the auxiliary camera which we don't have I do think they've degraded a little bit after two years it still looks good still most definitely usable but yeah it's most certainly maybe a little bit less now for all intents and purposes I can use this camera I mean this looks it's hard to say if it it's hard to say but this is definitely not ruined the 250 even after four years is still usable but it's not new i mean they are degrading and they eventually they're probably going to get to the point where they are not usable so uh it is a real thing now i'm not an engineer and i don't have all the answers but i think one solution for this issue with fords is if they come up with a way to kind of protect this camera from the elements a little bit better uh i think uh, I can kind of see the sun has beat on this camera a bit. Let's take a look at the 250. Here's a look at the 250 and the elements really just beam onto this camera. You can see it. It's degraded a little, but by no means is it totally burnt out. But eventually I think it will get there to be to totally burned out. I think the solution would be to provide better protection for this camera. Maybe some kind of a hood that just protects it from the elements like this a little bit not as big as my hand maybe just a little cap or something that cover this thing up a little better i've seen on some gm models where they tuck their cameras look not only gm but other models in general they tuck their cameras behind like more of a covered area more of a covered so it can see out but still is in a shaded position so maybe for the aftermarket if somebody could come on with like a come out with like a double-sided 3m ta taped on hood or something that would cover this thing up partially so that it doesn't get quite as much direct sunlight uh but it's a tough thing to really put your finger on because i do feel like these ones have degraded as well but they are 
you know, looking at these, they are still going to get direct sun for whatever reason, from whatever angle. You're still going to see the degradation here on this lens. Now, with the recall that's coming out, I do not think they are replacing all 300 and all cameras for the 360 degree system. I do think typically when you see recalls there for safety problems and I don't know if you can make the argument for a full safety issue for the full 360 camera versus just the rear camera. It is mandated by the government, I believe, that every vehicle has to have a rear facing camera no matter what. Every vehicle has to have it. If you've noticed, all Super Duties, I believe, have rear facing cameras unless you go into like a cabin chassis. But even those, I think, have a standard rear facing camera. It may not be the big screen but they all at least have a small screen rear facing camera. So I do believe that is required nowadays, but um, I wonder if this coating that's degrading is just on the outside of the lens or if it's actually inside the lens, but you can see that something's definitely happening. Maybe the coating's coming off and it's starting to work its way off. But if, like I was saying, if there was a hooded area thing that can just cover this thing up like this, to keep some of that UV off of the lens. I mean, if you leave any camera outside in direct sunlight, it's going to get burnt out. Well, almost any camera. So I think maybe the solution isn't just to come out with a different coating, a better coating. Yeah, that's great. A better coating is would be great. But a better coverage. You know, this camera, instead of it being right here, was tucked under here. I mean, not by the handle. I mean, you'd you know touch it every time you open a gate but from a uv protection standpoint down here is better than up here so it's something to think about uh if you're looking at one of these trucks i'm going to do a quick uh attempt at improving the design on this camera here so let me grab some stuff here so for my modification i'm just starting off with a piece of poly plastic just to go over the top of the camera to create kind of a hood and then I can extend this camera with just a piece of tape or something maybe to like increase the coverage maybe along the sides a little bit to create a shaded area for the camera I just taped this on here to mock it up to make sure that it didn't interfere with the camera and I put two holes here and I'm going to drill and then I'm going to zip tie this thing in place so here is where we are right now it is zip tied into place and we only lost a little bit of viewing area. Here on the camera view, you can see just a little bit in the top corner there, not bad at all, but if it protects the camera a little bit from UV. I'm also gonna add a little tape to improve the coverage on the sides a little bit. All right, so that is what I'm gonna roll with. We'll take a look inside of the truck and see what we got. So yeah, just a little bit of a loss on the top of the very top of the screen. Really, I don't use that part mainly using the bottom portion of the screen anyway but if this helps with camera degradation then uh, that would be worth it in my opinion if it gets annoying i can trim it back but that's what we're going to roll with all in all based on what we've seen this is definitely an issue that ford's going through um, i'm thinking that one of the engineers that you know worked on this kind of dropped the ball a little bit not so much that the sensor uh isn't designed well or whatever the case may be I think that the camera protection should have been thought out a little bit better uh, hopefully in newer models they think of this but the reality is I think if you're gonna have one of these trucks for a long time the cameras are gonna degrade now being that it is a recall for the rear camera for the tailgate camera but are they gonna replace all 360 degree cameras and they run pretty expensive they are it's a lot of times excess of three hundred dollars if you can find them so just to buy the just to buy the sensors three six nine there's one on the bed 12 so if you really are one of those people that likes everything to be working properly that's twelve hundred dollars just the cameras and not counting the rear the rear camera if you were out of warranty or for whatever reason couldn't get that recall at least they're replacing the rear i don't know if they're doing all 360 as of right now but hopefully uh if you're under bumper to bumper maybe you can get that but anyway 
my name is Sean. This is DS Trucks. Comment below. Let me know what you think and hope to see you guys in the next video. Over and out.